Hey, what's up guys? Everything Apple Pro here. And today Apple has finally publicly released iOS 11.1. So it is available over the air right now, coming in around 323 megabytes for me personally on my iPhone 8. So what's new, what's changed, and what you need to know before updating. Now, first off, if you guys uh, are wondering if it did add any more storage, I had before on 11.0.3, 58.27 gigabytes after updating 58.01. So it actually reduced about a quarter of a gigabyte of storage just to get here. Now, if you guys are on iOS 11.1 beta 5 and you wanted to get here, well, all you need to do is nothing. You're already there. So you won't find an update in the settings. And actually jumping in here, I'm already on the newest version. So actually checking out the build number, you'll notice that it is the very same one as the Gold Master. So there is no difference there. If you were on beta 5, you're already on the final version. So that also means that there aren't any new features or changes in the final release release over the last one. That means you do get all of the new emojis. Apple has updated a lot of things subtly, uh, some animations and stuff like that. Also, the battery life is one of the big ones that I wanted to talk to you guys about. I've been using beta 5 on my device for about a week and it has been phenomenal. My iPhone 8 Plus has been lasting very long, much longer than on 11.0.3. This is certainly the refinement that iOS 11 needed. But also, it's been a little disappointing to use all the new emojis and none of my friends can see them. So now that this update is out, uh, everyone will be able to share these emojis, which is cool. Speed-wise, it's been great. Uh, the hangups have been reduced. Like in general, it finally feels great to use your device on iOS 11. This is the firmware that makes it go from terrible to sort of it's now okay. Now, iOS 11.2 has been out. I've updated to it yesterday, and that's been running very well as well. So I would also even recommend that if you guys wanted a beta experience still. Uh, but also, don't forget about this guy. You do have the Edge swipe 3d touch now again so that one is going to be really cool great feature that justifies updating to ios 11.1 on its own of course if you have a 3d touch capable device anyways guys uh, as far as the features go i've already covered all of those but i wanted to do the real quick speed test show you guys if anything's different and there are those geekbench scores so pretty in line with what we've seen before no reduction there now along with the release of iOS 11.1, there's a lot of new emojis, changes to assistive touch. Uh, also, personally, one of my favorite new animations is the scroll animation in Safari. It's been made much smoother, so it kind of slows down once it gets to the top. Lots of little refinements. It's a great overall firmware. I have no reason that you shouldn't update. The battery life is better, animations are better, just feels great. So guys, go ahead and do that. Let me know how it goes down below in the description. Otherwise, 11.1 is out, it's awesome. You've got the thumbs up to go ahead and update. Peace.